Good morning. It's an afternoon. Good afternoon. It's 1.30 on Saturday. Say hey. Okay. Let me put you down. Obviously, we are in the car. I am going to pick up some Diet Coke and watermelon from Target. I posted today. I think it's raining, I think, outside. So we may have to roll the window up. I posted my first ever. Oh, it is raining. Sorry, boobsies. Anyway, my first ever Sister Saturday. We we do that a lot. I know I've said it so many times, but like anytime we hang out, it's just a funny thing. Like we call it Sister Saturday. I don't know why. Let me check my mail. Stand by. Well, now I'm glad I left the camera on. Okay, so I ordered from Urban Outfitters three t-shirts that I liked. I saw Sam Schumann, Schumann, I feel like I never say her name right. Um, she did an Urban Outfitters haul recently on YouTube. She's definitely more mid-size. I think she may not even be considered mid-size. Anyway, but y'all know I love like the graphic oversized t-shirts and stuff like that. So she had so many of those and then tucked them into like cute denim shorts. It sold me. So I bought three of them. We'll try them on when we get home. Also, I got another Woman Within catalog. I haven't ordered from there in so long. It's like you order one time, and for the rest of your life, you're gonna get a catalog every single month, sometimes more than once a month. I'm also wearing a ton of makeup. I don't even think it's the right color for me. I filmed the video this morning. <sighs> Maybe it's not that bad, but I asked, so I got a spray tan. There's a lot going on, apparently. I got a spray tan a couple of days ago for a swimsuit shoot, and I said, listen, I gotta be extra tan. So I did two jade bronzers instead of one. Anyway, I did two of something instead of one, like I normally do. And so I found this foundation in my make, like in my little makeup desk. It was super dark, and so that's what I used. Anyway, hello. How are you? I hope you're well. Brian and I are gonna do, we already decided tonight. Our plan for tonight, Chinese food. And we're finally gonna play that hunt a killer game that I gave him for his birthday in January. We haven't played it yet. We pulled everything out one time to play it and then realized it was a lot more in depth than we thought. So we ended up not playing it in that moment. So I already called him today and I was like, listen, we're getting takeout and we're playing the game because I've been looking forward to it, but it's not my birthday present, it was his. You know, like I can't do it without him. He has to want to do it. So we're going to do that tonight. And he said, can you get a watermelon? I said, I got you. So let's go pick up all of our stuff. Well, Diet Cokes and watermelon. And then when we get home, we'll try on these t-shirts. Fingers crossed they work. A while ago, I want to say maybe like two years ago at this point, I ordered one of those like super popular, I think it was Sublime. Nirvana, one of those like graphic tees from Urban Outfitter, Urban Outfitters, and it didn't fit me as oversized as I would have liked, so I ended up selling it on Poshmark. So I hope that these work out. Okay, sorry if you're shaking. I just <laughs> and you're crooked also. Um, okay, so let's do this. Urban Outfitters, as I just mentioned for y'all, for me it's been a little bit, um, but I want to try these on. I also had a chicken salad from Zaxby's for lunch. It was not it. Like, I feel a little bit nauseous. Okay, maybe nauseous is not the word. Like, I'm not physically ill, but like just thinking about it, the hot chicken, like wilted the lettuce and melted the cheese. And it was just not good. All right, so three shirts. They were on sale when I got them. Normal price is 45 bucks. I'm pretty sure they were like, 25% off. I got them all in a size large, extra large. If you're not familiar, they either come small, medium, or large, extra large. This, love. Sublime. Just like a distressed tea. Okay. I like. I don't think they're going to be as oversized as I would like them to. But we'll get to that bridge. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I got this Hunter Green. Oh, I love the color. Um, Def Leopard. Okay, I love this one. This one's not as distressed. It's actually not distressed at all. Okay, I like, I like. 
And then last one is this yellow, the zombies. I loved the yellow color. Yeah, okay, I like this one too. Like the graphic on it is just really pretty. Again, I don't think they're gonna be as oversized on me as they are. I mean, they're not actually made for plus size, but okay, let's, let's put them on. Y'all, is this real? <laughs> like, why are they so small on me? I'm pretty sure these are like the oversized t-shirt dresses. Pink rose. Hold on, let me look at my order, stand by. So they all say t-shirt dress, which means they're supposed to be like super long. But it's just like an act, just a t-shirt. And they're like tight at the hips. Did I get the wrong style? So this is the Sublime. Well, they're, they're not oversized. On me, on other people, I'm sure they are. But this is not it. I'm so disappointed. Like, look how pretty, and like if this were oversized with bike shorts, could be so cute. And it's not. This one fits like the yellow one. I'm so upset. I mean, I was taking a chance, I guess, so. I could um, see if my nieces want them, like they'd be super oversized on them, but they like the graphic tee bike shorts look and maybe they'll like them. If not, I'll just return them because I can't even really like try them on properly to post a picture to sale because they, to sale, to sell because they don't even like fit me how they're supposed to fit. So yeah. All right. So now I've gotten a little like wild hair and I feel like we should go in my closet or at least like in the bedroom and I'll pull out all of my graphic tees and we can go through them. Keep save, keep save. Does that sound interesting? Keep save. Oh, keep donate. Just kidding, I'm not gonna go through my t-shirts. I came to sit outside with the dog and I've changed my mind because I don't wanna do it. Uh, but anyway, my nieces want the t-shirts, so there's that. Uh, maybe I need to look on their website because those say t-shirt dress and I thought those were like the oversized ones, but maybe they're not. I don't know. I need to go back and look and see if it's worth it for me to get any more. But anyway, happy Saturday now. It's 2.30 almost. I'm going to just relax. Be upset about my t-shirts. If you know of a company that makes plus size shirts like that in true plus size, all the ones I can find go, or like Urban Outfitters, obviously that don't fit, or they go up to a size like extra, extra large, which is not oversized for me. So if you know of one, then let me know. I know you can't see me. It's now 11 o'clock at night. Listen, Brian's watching Game of Thrones for the umpteenth time. Um, I've got like a wild hair to do squats. So I've been in here doing squats, watching YouTube videos on my phone, which is what you are. You can't even see me. <laughs> but I'm on my last set, just body weight squats. I haven't done them in a while. So I felt like we were overdue for some. Chinese food for dinner, incredible. Pork lo mein, we did not play the game. I know, we've just been watching TV. So happy Saturday night. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe Brian and I will do something fun. Okay, good night. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's early. It's only 8.10. For some reason, I woke up at like, I think it was 7.13 on my own. So I made me a coffee and this really cute cup, hang on. Okay, so now I'm sitting outside. I can be a, I can be a little bit louder. That's the metal hitting the table. Uh, Brian's obviously still asleep in there. So I did my skin, I woke up, took a shower, did my skincare. Obviously we made a coffee. Okay, so on tap today, I don't think we have anything planned. So you may not see me again. Okay, so I kind of want to get a new light for the foyer when you walk in the front door. 
That light and the light over the little round dining room table in the kitchen, those are original to the house. And I've just wanted one of those like basket looking, I don't know if chandelier is the right word because it's chandelier makes me think of like gold and silver and lights and you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I kind of want to get one. Brian hates the basket ones, but I feel like we can compromise on something that we both love. But I'll show you, I'll show you what the lights, what that one light in the foyer looks like. Now, the one in the dining room, I can, I can be okay with for a little while, but that one, it would just look so cute in there with a different light. So this is the light. So let me turn it on. It's fine, right? Like, the, no big deal. It's fine. But it just doesn't really go with the vibes in here. The basket one would be so cute, right? Here's what it looks like. I don't know. Maybe we can talk Brian into it. I'll also link, oh, it's bright right there. I'll also link my like custom Starbucks cup. They sent it to me, but I'll link the Instagram page where you can get one if you want one. Let's we'll see if she'll do it. Uh-huh, she wants cuddles. Did you sleep good last night? I know you did, cause you were snoring. All right, y'all, happy Tuesday, by the way. It's almost four o'clock. Um, it has finally cleared up enough to where Cash and I, um, I think I'm going to take her to the park because y'all know I bought her the, hold on, let me show you the harness. Y'all, I cannot find the hot pink harness for the life of me. I remember seeing it somewhere, but I couldn't tell you where. Did I put it away? I have no idea. I've looked everywhere. So I guess we'll just have to use Old Faithful, huh? And watch me be able to find it as soon as I walk in this house on the way back. Bahamas. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll just use this one. I found it. <laughs> now I remember. Okay, so let's put it on her. How cute are you? I hope it's tight enough. Surely she can't get out of that. Like, step out of it, right? But the smaller one I felt like was just too tight. Okay, let's go. I've only ever taken her to this park one time. We don't like do dog parks or anything like that. But I'm hoping that she enjoys it. I do have a package too that I need to drop off at the post office. So maybe we'll do that real quick because it's already four o'clock and then continue on, but she looks so cute in her little harness. This is the first time she's worn it. Remember a couple weeks ago, um, I bought it because I was gonna take her on walks, like do different things and stuff like that. And I didn't, because it rained every day. So now we've got a lull. Okay, here we are, hang on. Hold on, hold your horsies. Oh, wait, hold on. I wanna grab the other thing just in case. Okay, I don't know y'all, it might be a little bit too big. So we won't go real far, but here we are. I guess I'm just gonna listen to some music or something. I have my AirPod, well I have one AirPod in. I did park near the restrooms because I need to go. Also they usually have like the little um, baggies so I can grab some of those just in case she has to go potty. Okay, update, I think it's too big. See, it's like shifting around. So we may switch it out, but she's so cute. So I think these are, oh, maybe they don't have baggies. Clean up after your pet. Pick up mitt, yes. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of these. I realized this morning that I hadn't done much for the vlog. So I figured we would do a little walk. Um, I spent most of the morning working and then I also started reading Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I read probably 10 or 15 pages Friday night, Saturday night, and then today I finished so much of it. Okay, we're going to go in this little nook and just stay near the car just in case. Change of plans, we just switched out of the other method because I felt like the longer she walked, it just kept getting baggier and baggier, and that just makes me nervous. So we're back to this. I guess I will buy the smaller size, but it's not so bad. It's muggy, but it's not super sunny, so that's nice. Okay, quick question. 
are dogs allowed at the splash pad? Like, can she just get a little bit wet? Because I just asked the ice cream truck guy if he sold water and he said no. So, I wonder if she can quickly. Okay, it doesn't say anything about dogs. Update, the sign in the front said no dogs. So we exited quickly. I just stopped and got her some water. She already drank it. What is that on my chin? I'm debating if I want to take her to the little pet store right here because we could get her a cute little toy or something. Um, but I think we're just gonna head home. I have water all over me now from her drinking. Um, but it's just so hot outside. I don't even have a napkin. But yeah, I think we're just gonna head home. And now we are here. I made it just in time. Well, they close at six. It's 5.22. So we made it just in time for her again, a little pub cup. I did get me a coffee. Is that a mistake? Maybe because it's got two shots of espresso, but y'all know I only asked for two instead of the three that normally comes in it. I'm used to looking over here. Sorry, I need to look over there. Anyways, also what's exciting. Okay, if you're not familiar, my birthday is July 21st. I'm, a, I'm such a summer person. I love the heat, the hot weather, <laughs> like all that stuff. Um, and so for this year, I decided to treat myself and I bought myself a new work computer. I'm so excited. It's like the little things in life that make me excited. Hang on. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Also, there's this um, like light colored leopard laptop case that I really want as well, but it's very expensive. So like I have to really decide because I just spent um, several grand on a laptop. You know what I'm saying? So do I really want to spend 175 extra dollars on a case? No, not really, but will I? Maybe. Um, it's for work, right? That's what I tell myself. But yeah, it's the little things that make me excited. So that's what I got myself for my birthday this year. All right, we're going to head home. I laid out some hamburger meat for dinner. It's nowhere close to dinner time or, you know, time for Brian to get off. He doesn't even get off until eight o'clock. Um, but... I always say I'll see you at dinner and then I forget so I can't promise you anything but it was a nice little adventure we spent about 20 minutes at the park I timed it just to see how long we would last so not very long but I think if it weren't so hot outside um, obviously we could have made it quite a bit longer oh my gosh I didn't even tell y'all I planted it's not dinner time obviously we just got home it's only five almost 5 30. I planted my lemon tree. So here we go. I may need some more potting soil, but I think this is okay for now. I kept the little ladybug in it, but it's looking really good. I love the pot color. I might not leave it here because I feel like it kind of blends in with like this stuff over here, like from far away. You can't really tell the difference. So I may slide it around. I'm not really sure. We need to like weed eat and pull all this stuff out back here. But anyway, it's finally in a pot. Oh my gosh. This dragonfly is like attacking the fan. Oh no. Sh what are you doing? I didn't turn the fan off because it's going crazy at the fan. Maybe it's just hot. I saw on TikTok one time of a kid, I guess I'd never seen, it was probably, this kid was probably three or four and he had never seen a dragonfly before and he was calling them baby helicopters. <laughs> Okay, I literally talked to y'all 30 minutes ago. I was about to go take a shower, but I was gonna film something real quick. Oh my gosh, I'm not wearing pants. I was gonna film something real quick, and I went to plug in my ring light, and the cord caught fire, like actual fire flames. I don't know if you can even tell, but see like where it was sitting? All that is fire, like singed the carpet. All that right there, right there, up here. So I unplugged everything from the wall. This is the culprit. Oh gosh, it's still got stuff on it. So I've unplugged everything. Just wash my hands too. Um, so I'm in here, I plug it in, I'm getting ready to set up, it pops. This, like the ring light goes out, all the lights in the house go out, but they came right back on. And then like it actually caught fire. And I was like, oh, like bad word, a bunch of bad words. <laughs> so I run to the kitchen, grab a bottle of water. I run back in here and the fire was already out. Like it was very small, obviously, but the whole house, it smells like an electrical fire and there's smoke. It's really not that bad. You know what I'm saying? 
um, but it's noticeable. So I've unplugged everything. That's crazy. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. And I could have sworn it would have been this extension cord that would have done it, but caught fire because I've had that thing forever, but it wasn't. It was the like expensive ring light. So now I need to get creative. I'm gonna leave the fan on in here. I have the fan on in the bedroom, though it's not really that smoky anymore. And in the living room, Ugh. but luckily it's sunny outside. So it's a couple of swimsuits. I'm trying something different with this reel. Um, so I think I'm just gonna head outside and film them instead, but that was dramatic and scary because I thought like my first thought is put it out, unplug it. How am I gonna grab Cash and Layla? Where's my keys? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not wearing any pants. So that was not a great way to end my, what is even today? Tuesday? Oh my gosh. But it's all good. So I guess I need to go tomorrow and get another uh, ring light cord. I need to get a couple new extension cords just in case. Oh, my mom's calling me, hang on. Good morning, it is Wednesday, 8.15. My air is blasting, I can't turn it down, sorry. I just did a little workout. Um, I realized yesterday was a little bit hectic. The more I thought about it last night, it just sounded a little bit hectic. Um, everything's okay, we're all okay. So today, I will be banished, stuck at home number one, but banished probably to a bedroom because we're getting the wallpaper removed in the bathroom. Again, I'm vlogging it all, so that will happen soon. But this is like the last big step. And then next week we'll have someone else come in to paint and stuff, but that's like a quick thing. And then it's just up to us to put everything back in and like, you know, get it all ready. So hopefully that vlog will be up in the next, or that video, that reno, whatever, will be up in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to end this here because, again, I'm just going home, make breakfast, and I'm going to sit at my house. So... I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.